wasn't that strong academically. When I finished high school and I got into college, um, I really wanted to do nursing. However, my mind and my academics weren't there. I wasn't as dedicated and motivated and just determined and passionate that I am now. And so, you know, once I went into my first college, which was the community college, I totally flunked anatomy and physiology one. I got a D initially, and then I retook the course, and I got an F. Yeah, I failed further, right? So after that, I said, you know what? I have to take this class again because nursing is what I want to do, and I will get to nursing school. So I graduated that community college with my associates, and I had also rewinding back I also failed human growth and development at that time that I failed anatomy and physiology one and so I did graduate I didn't have the best GPA I think I had a 2.5 GPA when I had finished when I had finished college and um I graduated and I went to a school in the city which was a four-year college and when I got to their orientation I was told that I wasn't eligible for their nursing program because why I failed anatomy and physiology one as well as human growth and development and their criteria was pretty tough so with their criteria I basically had to maintain a B in all of the prerequisites and I had to um, take the NLM PAX exam. So because I hadn't maintained a B in anatomy and physiology one, as well as human growth and development, I now was no longer eligible for their program. So what did I do? I cried. I cried during the orientation, being totally honest. And I printed literally like four pages of nursing programs. And little by little, I called each one. And my two questions were, what are the GPA requirements and are you allowed to take a prerequisite over again? So at that facility, I did have to still take anatomy and physiology one again because remember I failed it two times. So I needed to now take it a three time, a third time. And this time I had to make sure that I passed. So I had to give it my all. I then took a human growth and development as well and I passed. But, reversing. Someone told me about the Accelerated Nursing Program. And at first I'm like, hmm, what is the Accelerated Nursing Program? Like, what? how can that help me? And so with the Accelerated Nursing Program, it's different from the traditional because with the, for the traditional, you have to do four years. So a four-year program, and that's how you become a nurse. With the accelerated nursing program it's a bit different so you can get a degree in any other field it could be psych it could be sociology it could be liberal arts it could be business as long as you have a bachelor's so what did i do clearly me getting into the traditional nursing program was just like not gonna happen or if it happened it would take forever so i didn't have forever you know like i'm in my mid-20s and of course you know I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish so time is something that is very crucial to me and I'm pretty sure it's crucial to a lot of people and so what did I do I always had a thing for psychology I was always interested in psych and just in just you know wanting to know how these people got the, became the way they did like what was it that triggered it? You know, what are the diseases that come with the brain? The brain is a very complex organ. So it was something that always interests me. Do you hear that train? that always interests me and because it interests me I decided that I was going to pursue my bachelor's degree in psychology at the facility that I had now entered 
So because I couldn't do nursing, I figured, you know what, let me do psychology. And then from there, I can go ahead and start applying to these um, nursing programs. So that was the goal. It didn't seem very clear that I would get into this, these traditional programs. So I just said, you know what, screw that. Let me take this route. So I totally um, left that negative energy about me not becoming a nurse and took all of it as motivation to basically get me into nursing school. So once I went to that facility, I don't know what happened to me. I mean, I'm sure just being passionate really made a difference, but I started to get A's in all my classes. I went, I brought my GPA up from a 2.5, which was the first facility that I went to, to then a 3.3 after graduating from that facility. So I really, really took my work seriously. I made sure I got A's in my courses. I made Dean's List a couple of times. And that was all because I knew that in order for me to get into nursing school, I needed to raise that GPA up. And I needed to do it the best way that I could. And I need to make sure that I know my information and, you know, just make sure I'm graduating with this good GPA. So I did pursue my degree in psychology from that facility, graduated with a 3.3, and I started to make an Excel document with all of the different facilities that had accelerated nursing programs, their GPA requirement, um, their tuition amount, the prerequisites that they had required if I hadn't already taken them. Um, and if you don't know, most nursing schools require anatomy and physiology one, two, microbiology, psychology, sociology, human growth and development, English, math, and um, I feel like I'm missing one more. Oh, chemistry. So yeah, those are the prerequisites that most nursing facilities require. Um, so I did look at these facilities to see if for some reason, um, I hadn't taken it. So now I have to retake it. Like some facilities wanted organic, organic chemistry, um, and some facilities wanted chem, gen chem one and gen chem two. So I like documented all of that. But yeah, after I, um, you know, did this Excel file with all of the nursing, uh, programs, the accelerated nursing programs, and their requirements. I also had a column where it said when their deadline was. So I had facilities that their deadline was fall. I had facilities where their deadline was spring. I had facilities where their deadline was winter. And this is how I was going to go about it. So I had graduated from that facility in the city in May. So that was like around spring. So the next upcoming semester was going to be fall. So what did I do? I basically just like applied to the fall accelerated nursing programs for three facilities because those were the only facilities that had accelerated nursing programs and my requirements and, and what I had. And they had no entrance exams, which was something that really you know, matter to me because I really didn't want to have to take an entrance exam. Uh, I hate those exams. I hate those tests. I just, I just can't stand them. Give them the referral business. He then in turns, okay, um, we've got this patient needs such and such. So they'll, they'll put you into action where you'll coordinate with the people and follow through what um, I'll consider it a sale. So that they so like I was saying, I really cannot stand entrance exams, so I was really trying to avoid them because the only two exams that I would have to take would be the NLM PAX exam, which I did attempt one time for, what college was that? Wow, I totally forgot the college. Um, but yeah, I had to, I did take the NLM PAX exam and I flunked it. I did horrible. I know that I would have never gotten into any school with that score. Um, and then the other one that I could have taken was T's exam. I did buy the book. However, I gave it to somebody that actually was going to take the T's exam. So 
what I did was I applied to those three colleges and um, the colleges that I had applied to in New York City were uh, New Ro the College of New Rochelle, um, NYU, and Pace University. And so those were the upcoming fall accelerated nursing programs. So I went about um, focusing on the fall because that was the upcoming season. And then if, you know, all went wrong and I didn't get into those facilities in the fall, I would move on and look at my Excel file and I will move on to the winter that, you know, the facilities that their deadline was winter and their program was starting in winter. So that's how I decided to go about it. But thank God I didn't have to move any further after fall. I did get accepted to uh, NYU accelerated nursing program and I got accepted to the College of New Rochelle and I got rejected from Pace University and so of course I chose NYU because it was a more prestige school and not only that but it was only 15 months and that's another thing about accelerated nursing programs which are great they're really quick they are compiled with so much information and they are very tough pro programs but definitely very doable and programs that will keep you motivated and passionate about nursing and so yeah pace university was 12 um new rochelle was 18 and nyu was 15 months so yeah i did choose the nyu program and um, that's how I got into nursing school. So, you know, I didn't get into nursing school the traditional route. Um, I didn't just go out of, leave high school and go into college and get into their nursing program. Um, I actually had to take the accelerated route because I had failed anatomy and physiology one and two, and I also failed human growth and development. And so it's okay. Like, you know, you can fail and still get into nursing school. So don't get discouraged that you know since you failed you can't get into nursing school because that is so false okay take me in take me as an example i failed two of the most important classes for nursing school anatomy and physiology too and i got into nursing school and i got in not just any nursing school but i got into one of the best nursing schools in new york city so with that being said you know i wanted to share my journey with you um, if for some reason you can get into the traditional nursing program, that's okay. You can take the accelerated route, get a degree in any other field that may interest you and just move about it like that. Um, the reason why I did psychology was not only because I was interested in psychology, but also too, it was a fast degree to get. Um, I had left that first facility in February of 2000 and what was it 14 um i started the second facility um the same year 2014 and i graduated in 2017 so 15 16 yeah i mean literally it was literally two years it wasn't a big deal and um maybe less than that i think it was like a year and a half um that i have finished um my bachelor's degree and then the nursing program was only 15 months so like come on it's like two three years it's pretty much the same amount of time as a traditional maybe just a little bit less but guess what you are still going to become a nurse which makes all the difference and so yeah like that's definitely one way that you can go about it I definitely am happy that I took that route and I still look past all of the negative and the fact that I had failed and people told me that maybe nursing school isn't for you because anatomy and physiology are one of those courses that makes, you know, the backbone of nursing and it really matters in medicine and medical fields. So yeah, I mean, never get discouraged. Always go for your passion, follow your dreams and never give up. And so if you want to be a nurse and you didn't do so well in anatomy and physiology, or even human growth and development or chemistry, whatever it is, retake the course again, make sure you pass, give it your, your all, you know, and apply, apply to nursing schools. And if the traditional route doesn't work for you, then fine, do the accelerated route, get a degree in another field, like make a plan B for yourself if nursing doesn't work out for you. 
So, like, let's say I never got into nursing school. Maybe I could become a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Like, you know, do a degree that you can fall back on, you know. So, like, if you are really interested in business, do a business degree. Who knows? Like, you know, you can maybe use that degree later on if for some reason nursing turns out to not be for you. But all I'm trying to get at is definitely go after your dreams, follow them, be passionate about them, stay motivated, and don't let nobody tell you no, you can't. Don't let anyone tell you that, you know, maybe things are not for you because guess what? Only you will decide that. So yeah, that is how I got into nursing school, NYC edition. I hope you like this video. I hope this helps you. I hope this motivates you. Um, to pursue the career of nursing. It is a very hard journey, but guess what? If you're passionate, motivated, and dedicated, it won't be hard. It would just be obstacles that you must overcome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video has motivated you and has helped you to decide to go back to nursing school or to continue to pursue nursing even if you failed a prerequisite because guess what failing means absolutely nothing it should only be motivation to keep you going so i hope you like this video i will be putting up more nursing videos and soon i will be adding my travel vlog videos um, I have traveled in the past to, I got to six continents out of seven, so I've been to a couple of places. However, I do not want to use those um, videos or materials. I do want to start fresh. I do plan to get to a lot of places on my bucket list, so those will be coming. So yeah, make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe for the latest updates on my next video.